Okay guys, I'm gonna do a video. I haven't been done a video in a while. I've been out of the country for several weeks, but um back uh, at home with my mini. And before I left, this uh sunshade thing came off the uh the track here or unglued. So I'm gonna try to uh, glue it back in. It looks like it basically tucks underneath a little crack here, but it looks like it probably needs a little bit of glue to help hold it on as it slides. So I got a thin spatula thing and I picked up some of this glue at um waterproof glue at um Amazon. So what we do is we go try to tuck it in and put a little bit of this to hold it in. So I used the rag, kind of cleaned off the track as best as I could. Um, you can see that there's some kind of uh, yellow gluey stuff underneath here. Um, and this is kind of nice when you take off the cap you see this like fine tip applicator that you could use. So I'm going to put a little bit of that, don't want to put too much otherwise I might gunk up the track then use the spatula to tuck it in. Okay, to keep this, um, I tucked it back in using the spatula after I put a little bead of glue on. Put some tape to help keep it nice and tight. Um, then I could have cut a couple little drops here and there and flattened it out just to make sure it's tacked in. So I'm going to let this dry overnight and then um, we'll check it out in the morning. Okay, here's the moment of truth. I'll let this dry overnight. Um, to peel off the pieces of tape and uh, we'll test it out to see if it uh, slides without coming apart. Okay, obviously that was not the way to fix the uh, glue it back. So studying this glue a little bit more, I finally realized it's probably a heat sensitive type of um, adhesion. So looking online, I purchased some and this is what I got. So this tape is made by 3M, a thermal bonding film. It's like this. I keep it in my refrigerator so that way it doesn't, um, this takes you stored below uh, 40 degrees F. And so you can find this online the, um, and the data sheet. So the key to applying this is, this is the temperature when it starts getting tacky that you apply to it. And this is when it begins bonding. So what you need is, um, this doesn't need to be very long, but you need uh, some pressure applied to it as it's, uh, as it's bonding. So what I have is, I have my heat gun. And I have a thermocouple thing that can measure temperature. Uh, I have a thing that I'm going to tuck it in. And doing a test run on this piece of fabric to this aluminum seems to be pretty good but I gotta be careful with the heat because otherwise I'm gonna melt the um, the plastic uh, shade so I'm gonna use a wet cloth to protect that and um, we'll go see how it works okay guys after many tries I think I finally got it to work um, here it is So what I did was I took my tape, my heat sensitive tape, I cut little strips like this and, and I attached it face down like this to that little metal silver strip down there. So that's the thing that, that the um, screen is supposed to be attached to when it rolls. So I attached it to that. I added, use my heat gun on low, get it tacky enough to stick, then, then while using the heat gun, I would use my um, joint knife here and tuck it in, I tucked in the, the screen, then using heat while moving constantly to make sure I don't leave heat on the same spot. I was making sure I add pressure on it for, you know, two, three seconds and kept moving across back and forth, back and forth to make sure it actually um, sticks to it. Um, then let it cool down to 60, 70 degrees because it was really hot after I did it. And then um, 
then um, making sure that it slides okay and it doesn't come off. So that's how I fix it. I use the heat sensitive tape, joint knife, thermal couple just to make sure I wasn't getting too hot. And most importantly, you need a, a heat gun to be able to get the temperature hot enough. And you gotta keep that moving so you don't wanna burn anything. So you gotta be very careful. Um, maybe try some test experiments first, but um, that's how I was able to fix that. I have to do the one in the back, but the back one, I probably have to take off the sunroof because I can't um, open it up all the way like this. So maybe I'll do a video on that if I have trouble doing it and um, give you some hints. Good luck on yours if you have that problem.